Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys are safe out there. I wanted to say something about the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. Uh, testing it out with food and baking and making drinks such as Kool-Aids, lemonades, iced teas. I have a video on making lemonade, lemon Kool-Aid if you want to go check that out. Um, first of all, I, I've been buying this for a while. Everybody's got their own opinion, which is cool. The cooling effect on this is not as bad as people make it out to be, unless you're sensitive to that kind of stuff. But I've already tasted it. It's The cooling effect is not that, not that bad. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, but everybody's different, though, so don't come at me. I give it... I give the cooling effect probably like a four, okay? It's not that bad, you guys. Erythritol monk fruit extract, okay? Uh, here's the back if you want to pause that. Okay. Here's their story. Walmart sells a little bag for five something. Um, if you don't use this kind of stuff a lot, but I go to Whole Foods and I get the big bag. I found it to be cheaper than online, so and I can't find it anywhere cheaper online. This is the 28.22 ounce, so it's the big bag, the biggest I can find anyway. So I used it for, for baking, and it turned everything hard. It's granulated, just like your regular uh, gritty regular sugar that you buy at Walmart, the Domino's or the Great Value kind or any other store brand kind, okay? So you see the little granules right there? It's granulated, just like, like I said, just like um, Domino's sugar, okay? Um, I found due to many experiments that it's not good for baking, um, it's going to turn everything hard because it crystallizes. For cooking, it, it will crystallize. It won't turn anything hard, but it will crystallize once you let something cool or put it in the fridge. Okay, so I don't really recommend that. Um, but for drinks, you will find once you put something in the fridge, like the, the drink itself won't crystallize or turn hard. Um, it'll remain a liquid, but the cap of whatever container you're using will collect some liquid, like the pouring spout or whatever of whatever container you're using. It will dry out in the fridge and then it will crystallize. So when you go to pop the top of your container or turn it or whatever, you'll hear like a crunch. That's from this crystallizing. Okay, I think that monk fruit sweetener, the classic, is only best for drinks. I make iced teas with it. I make uh, lemonades with it, you guys. I make Kool-Aid with it. I make, um, what else do I make? Yeah, I make lemonades, iced teas, Kool-Aid with it. Uh, and it's just amazing. I was blown away how amazing the iced tea, the lemonade, and the Kool-Aid tasted. If I made you a glass of iced tea with regular Domino's great value sugar and another glass with another glass of iced tea with monk fruit sweetener, I promise you you won't even tell the difference. You're not going to get that cooling effect. You're not going to taste the erythritol or anything like that. You're just going to taste sweetness. And that's that's on everything, I promise you guys, but People coming on YouTube, I'm not trying to knock anybody or whatnot. We're all here. We're all family. But some people are exaggerating the, the cool sensation. It does have a, a, a bit of a cool sensation, but it goes away, and it's not that dramatic. So I, I just thought I'd let people know that this is not that bad, okay? It is sweet, so be careful with the measurements, what, whatever you're making. What I do is I start small. I start with a teaspoon at a time. I mix it and I taste it to my liking. So when a recipe calls for these type of sweeteners, I don't care if it's swerve, powdered, granular, other monk fruit, 
other companies, I don't care what it is, watch how much you put in. Don't follow somebody's recipe and they're like a quarter cup and you're putting a quarter cup of this stuff or the powdered or swerve or whatever and then the stuff ends up being really, really, really sweet. You guys got to watch your portions too. Um, people are just taking it by the quarter cup, a half a cup, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I followed somebody's recipe. I'm not going to be that like that and say who that person is. But let's just say I'm not using their recipes anymore. Um, they were taking a quarter of cup of the sweetener into the baking goods. And it was just, I had to throw everything away. Start small. Start with a teaspoon at a time, whatever you're using these sweeteners for. Or, depending what it is, a tablespoon at a time. Be very careful with these sweeteners, you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you in my next video.